Okay, guys, just wanted to do another quickie today. Uh, this is Gary from Gary's Place. How's it going, everybody? Like I said, I'm going to try to make this one as quick as possible. So, um, the other day I made a video about um, an issue I had with my printer. The extruder was popping, uh, skipping, whatever you want to call it. And um, I noticed that my one of my uh, bed adjustment knobs was sitting on the table and of course so I thought that was the only reason that that was happening. Now um, I don't know if this was caused because of that because obviously when the nut came off I'm pretty sure that the uh, nozzle was just pushed right into uh, the bed or the print whatever I don't really know when it happened but um, so, got everything back together, seemed to be working okay, came back later, and I noticed that I was getting an occasional skip, like not, just uh, every once in a while I hear a popping, you know, wasn't nearly as often as when that knob was off, but obviously there was something else going on there, so, you know, right away I, uh, went and got my little needle here and a paper towel and cleaned off the end of the nozzle you know use the use the needle to clear out the nozzle um put everything back together started a new print and hey guess what <laughs> still got an occasional pop so cleaned it out again okay so even went as far as to grab these little uh these little tweezers here because the tips of these it will actually run up into um, the nozzle. Um, it's not. It's a very tight fit. It's not very uh, awkward, but or it's not very easy. But um, the ends of these are also a little rough, and I think that's so you can actually clean the nozzle out with it, and it can kind of grab everything out. So did that. Didn't work. Did a cold pull. Didn't work. Um, so I said, okay, well, you know what? Maybe this nozzle's just beyond. So I took it out. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, it's dirty. It's, but it, it seemed to have decent flow. It wasn't great, but obviously there's still a little plastic stuck in there because uh, I don't know that I did. I, I think I retried it before I decided to switch the nozzle. Put a new nozzle in, and hey, guess what? Haha, <laughs> still the same issue. So I said, all right, well, I've got to pull the hot end apart. And, um,. These sunlers, there's this little PTFE tube that goes up through the uh, the hot end itself from the nozzle. So this sits right on the end of the nozzle, and then goes up the tube, and it's and it the other end sits uh, pretty much where the um, fitting for the extruder tube, Bowden tube, whatever um, screws in. So, I decided this needed to be replaced, went ahead, let's see if we can get a good look. So, this was after a cold pull. So, apparently, it was trying to sm smush through that, and you know, the, the weird part is, is it was actually pretty okay other than that popping noise. I didn't really even see much under extrusion, I was a little shocked with how frequent it was popping. So, pulled this out, so I can definitely say that was definitely my issue, okay? So, the kit comes with two extras, okay? I ended up cutting this one a little too short, so it's just junk for now. Now, when you do this, you want to make sure you have the ends flushed. Now, everybody tells me, buy this tool, buy this tool, buy this tool. So, I bought some PTFE tubing and went ahead and bought this tool. Well, hey, guess what? Both of these ends were cut with that tool. And they are absolutely not straight or flush. Now I know you can't do it with these because when you clip it you kind of get two, you kind of pull it into a center point. So that's no good. <laughs> I usually just take a razor blade and just nip it. Um, now my printer's printing just fine as you guys can hear in the background. I didn't do that this time, I actually used this, it seemed to work okay, but the main reason that you want to get this as flush as possible is because when it sits against here, on the nozzle, okay, 
there's a little almost like a little flat groove there okay and I don't know if you can see the end of this is kind of flared and that's, be, that's from being smooshed into it now right now I'm working on getting a all metal hot end set up but unfortunately there doesn't seem to be anything out there um, to get this done properly with so I'll show you I printed out this thing this thing has set up for a v6 okay or v6 clone which is what I'm using um, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't screw down you know like these holes obviously do not match uh, where the extra or where the hot end currently is sitting so I had I, I make an amount I'll do a video about that later and let you guys in on that um, I'll probably upload it to Thingiverse too once I get there but so just so you guys know if you're having an issue it seems like everything's clogged up but it's not this tube's got to go that's the reason I want an all metal hot end is because I do a lot of pet G uh, I'm pretty much always printing at 240 I do want to run a larger nozzle as well so I'm probably gonna try to push that to 250 uh, or 260 whichever is the highest that this printer will go um, and obviously that ain't gonna happen with these in there so all right guys well that's all I have for today so uh, thanks for stopping at Gary's place where you're always welcome um, as, uh, as always if you like my content please subscribe um, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next time. All right. Thanks for stopping.